What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today I'm so freaking stoked for two reasons. First of all, the new warning song has just came out, and I'm really excited about it, and there are talks of them releasing a US freaking tour, and I'm so excited. If they do, I'm praying that they come to Nashville. If they come to Nashville, I'm totally gonna go catch them there, but a little bit sooner than that, I'm gonna be in freaking Tokyo Rapungi catching them with Bandmade, two of my favorite female artists collabing together for one concert, and I can't wait for that. So if you guys are going to be at that show, please let me know. I will be doing a travel vlog for that one, and I hope to catch you out there. If you're new to my channel, please smash that sub button and let's do this. Three, two, one, boom! That bass tone, man. Voice, dude. Okay, that was freaking cool. That is such a good hook. There's something she just did in the chorus there that we definitely need to talk about at the ending of this song. I really just putting a pin on it, homies. Putting a pin on it, but that was freaking cool. I love how driving this bass is, man. Yes. These lyrics, man, they're savage, and I love it. God, who is this song about, dude? Feel bad for them. I love the way she's singing these choruses differently every time. That bass line is so good. God, man. Okay, a couple of things to talk about. First of all, if you go back to the first part of the chorus right here, um, right here. Yeah, the way that she adds like this distortion in the first part of this, say you've got it bad. She adds like this distortion in her voice. Like whenever she's leading into the say you've got it bad, she's adding like this grit in her voice. And I love that. And she actually changes it up from the first time to the second time to the third time. But it's like just dude, the entirety of this song is just completely just going off on this person. And then I love this part right here. 
at the very ending, she's just almost like she's still singing, but she's almost just talking. She's like lost aggravation of this. She's like, you're just a waste of time. And she like doesn't put as much effort into this part and in a good way, like in a in an artistic way. I mean that in a good way. But like just listen to how it's almost like I'm just done talking about it kind of video. It has that vibe to it here. I love the way that she decided to do that because I think a lot of people would end a song more like, ah, you know, something a little bit more aggressive. But I love the fact that she chose to go there instead. And that just shows like she's so over it. She's so freaking over it. She's done talking about it. And I love that. I think it works well with the lyrics. I think it works well with the song. And it's freaking clean. And I love that choice that she chose to do that. Also, freaking I just love the bass line throughout this entire thing, dude. The bass line and the drums are really holding the riff through the entire song. It's driving. It's freaking awesome. It's heavy. It's got a cool distortion effect on it. And I'm loving that, man. Thank you guys so much for the suggestion of checking this one out. I cannot wait to see them live in Rapungi and then see them freaking hopefully, fingers crossed for a Nashville show. If they are playing, I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of rumors of a tour coming. So if there is one, let me know where you guys would like to see them play at. Hope you guys are having a blessed day or night whatever time it is you're watching this spread some positivity out there be kind to each other and if anybody needs anything at all all of my socials are at john reeves live send me a message and i'll catch all then freaking toodles